Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. Uh, I want to welcome you uh, to the word of the day, and we want to encourage you as you continue in this time of social distancing. Uh, some of you are feeling isolated and alone, and yes, we hate the fact that we're not being able to gather and worship together on the weekends, but we know that God is in control and he is working in his world. He's working in your life. We want to be sharing these next few weeks out of the book of Philippians. Uh, Philippians was written by the Apostle Paul, and some of you might be saying, why the book of Philippians? Why during this time? It's really simple. Paul wrote the letter to the church at Philippi from prison, and his prison was not nearly as comfortable as your uh, isolation, confinement, quarantining, social distancing. He didn't have a couch and a bed and a TV and internet and a refrigerator stocked full of food and toilet paper to last till Christmas. Uh, his was far less comfortable but his letter to the Philippian church is full of joy, and I want you to hear that. So today I'm going to kick us off. I'm going to talk about the first 11 verses, and I want to share some thoughts with you from this passage. Uh, by the way, Philippians is one of the favorite letters for both myself and Pastor Joe, and so when we started talking about what we wanted to share with you, this was on our heart. I think you'll figure out why pretty quickly. The Apostle Paul in verse 3 says, I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. I thank God for you because of your partnership, Calvary, in the gospel from the first day until now. Your partnership in proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ to your friends and your family which is why God keeps adding to our number. Uh, we, we celebrate baptisms every weekend so far in this, uh, in this season of shutdown. Uh, the, your partnership in the gospel of serving people in Jesus' name. I love the way that Calvary comes together and helps. And, and several people have asked for help. And, and many of you have volunteered to be those who would go shopping for them or help them around their house. And that's a beautiful thing. We've also been able to help families uh, pay the rent. We've been able to help families with food. We've been able to help families move. We've been able to help families in a lot of ways because of your generosity and partnership in the gospel. And I thank God for that. That is a beautiful thing. And, and, uh, and I rejoice in it And whenever I remember you. And then Paul goes on to say this in verse 6. And this is so powerful for every one of us, especially those of you that are feeling disconnected from God because you're not able to come together and you're beginning to wonder about your relationship with Jesus, listen to what Paul says. In verse 6, he says, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. You know what that means? That means that God is working in your life, and if God is working in your life, he's going to finish that work in your life. It, it's a promise that if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, that God is never going to let you go and that one day heaven is going to be your destiny. And that is a beautiful promise for every single believer. But it also reminds us that just as, you know, your journey of faith started when you confess Jesus as Savior and it's going to continue all the way until you meet Jesus face to face, that God is a God of process. He loves to work through process. And so right now, in your life, I want you to ask yourself these questions. Ask yourself, what is God teaching me? Ask yourself, how is God changing me? And then ask yourself, who is God placing in my life that I can be a blessing to? Because God is working in your life, he's working through your life, and he wants to bless you because you are his all the way until the day of Christ Jesus. In other words, you're his forever and ever. Amen. My final thought out of this passage is simply this. And, and it's that I miss you. I, I'm just going to tell you, I miss being with the body of Christ in worship. I miss being able to see you on a regular basis and, and shake your hands and hug your necks and encourage you face to face, which is why we're doing these daily devotions. Listen to the Apostle Paul because his words reflect my heart for you. Verse 7 and 8, he says, It is right for me to feel this way about you all because I hold you in my heart. For you are all partakers with me of grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness how I yearn for you all with the affection of Christ Jesus. That's my heart for you. I pray that God encourages you today. And just know that we're praying for you. We're here if you need anything. Please reach out to us, call us, email us. 
uh, because we have you in our hearts. And whenever we remember you and pray for you, we are filled with joy because of your partnership in the gospel.